Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, working on the work truck 2.0 right now. Uh, whole goal behind this thing is uh, just to get a running decent, um, do some simple stuff on it, and it's going to be uh, basically a wood truck to go from my wood pile out in the field over to my outdoor wood boiler, uh, make transportation a lot simpler, quicker, um, and then, I don't know, go from there. So, in order to get this thing running right, um, if you saw the first video on the introducing it, it had a bunch of codes. All the codes were O2 sensor related and they were both codes from both sensors. So I'm like, oh, that's weird. Crawl under it, sensors are gone. The exhaust was replaced on this thing and they just didn't put O2 sensors back in. Uh, I don't know if it was because they didn't want to weld in bungs. Uh, the exhaust was, I don't know, does not look like direct replacement. Uh, maybe somebody made it. But I'll show you guys. All right, so right there you can see the downstream O2 sensor plug. It's hanging there, and then on the top of the bell housing, the other one's there. Uh, there is no bung here. So this downpipe here um, looks like it was just welded on, had a new cat welded on, and uh, there's no bung. No bung here. And there's no bung here, but there's this spot in the back of the cat, and I'm not sure if maybe that's where the O2 sensor would sit, the downstream O2 sensor, I'm guessing it is. I don't know if I can actually get that thing out of there, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order two bungs and then um, the O2 sensor kit, link in the description below. Uh, it's not a kit, it's just two O2 sensors, so you got upstream and downstream, and then hopefully this thing will run right. For ease of install, I am going to Unbolt it from the header um, and then take out the supports, the hangers, and then I'm just going to drop down the front end so I can weld on it. I'm, I don't think I need to take the whole thing out, but um, I could, but it's all one piece. So I guess let's uh, try and get it out. So just a quick update. Like this is your uh, typical flange bolt. There was only one on the top. Uh, that's a 9 16 and then this was cobbled together in the bottom uh, 13 mil or half inch um, there and then the flange is off now so now I'm able to you can see got the flange off now I'm able to pull this guy out I just got to take care of all the hangers in the way and uh, be good to go well, unfortunately, there's just not enough room to, with the up pipe, to get this whole thing out in one piece. So I'm going to strategically cut it right here, and then I can just work on this section forward because I'll be able to get the up pipe up there a little more, bring it down right here, and then I'll be able to weld my bungs on to this piece here. And I can leave this piece in the truck even though I already got the hangers off. And it'll be simple to weld it back together here or uh, clamp it, whatever I decide to do. All right, well, I got that piece out. The other piece is hanging. Not gonna worry about it at this point. Um, so yeah, definitely not getting the guy that guy out of there. Um, so I'm gonna weld a bung here and here, upstream, downstream. But now that I know what I'm dealing with, I wanted to get this other truck before I ordered parts. So I'm gonna go order the parts now. It'll be probably a week. So, two bungs, two O2 sensors, and we should be good. So, finally update time. It's like a week later. I uh, got my bungs and O2 sensors in the mail yesterday. There's the cat. I'm going to mock the cat up there to make sure I get the O2 sensors in position that are not going to hit anything or be in the way of anything. And then uh, I'll mark where the bungs are going to go and then weld them in. Drill the hole, weld them in. All right, I have, can't see it. Ooh, all right, mark the hole here. It's just slightly to the driver's side, as well as this one. These holes are just about perfect size too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a pilot hole in each with an eighth inch, and then I'm gonna use my step bit until I get about to that, and then uh, clean up the metal around it. And these bungs are uh, coved, just a touch. So they'll fit on there and they'll work perfect. And then uh, we'll get them MIG welded up there. And then uh, I might see 
I don't really want to weld this in, so I might see if we have, uh, at the local hardware, has band clamps this size, and I'll just uh, weld on some band clamps so I can just clamp her together. And I don't like work welding under vehicles next to tanks. I'm not by any means a professional or very experienced in welding, so um, I already have enough time trying to get a nice looking weld, so I'm not gonna deal with that. So I'll figure that out afterwards. So let's get to drilling. Done, step bedding is done. I used a little round file just to clean up the inside a little bit. Um, and then took the flat disc, got it all cleaned up for our weld. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to weld these bad boys in. One thing I wanna do right quick, um, off camera, I just wanna see if we got clamps for these. Or else I'm just gonna, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. But anyway, next clip should be Welding these bad boys on. And uh, so beginners, uh, I learned on this. So I did not go full cheap Harbor Freight. I went mid grade because uh, I, I watched videos on Chicago Electric and then I watched videos on Titanium and then I watched videos on the Vulcan, which are Harbor Freight's top of the line. This is definitely more affordable than Vulcan and very user friendly for a beginner. Uh, so a guy I work with, uh, was super nice, came and set it up for me, taught me a little bit about it. And I've been going with it ever since. This is the MIG 170. This is one, 110 or 220. Uh, I always use 220 if I can, because it works way better. Uh, I did 110 on exhaust over there for the BMW, just because I didn't have 220 over there. Uh, I generally weld right here on this side of the garage but uh, I had to tack it in the car, which thin exhaust, uh, it worked fine with 110, but like I said, 220 is the way to go for me. So MIG 170, uh, I highly recommend this bad boy. I didn't have anything, right? So the little Chicago electric cart, the titanium welder, I think everything together was maybe 900 bucks. The real big part is finding a um, argon tank so uh yeah you got to find your local dealer and, and you know it's not the gas that you pay for it's the tank so after that you just swap it out but yeah that's what i recommend that's what i actually learned on and am still learning on so all right later All right, so this is what I mean by <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. I'm not a professional. I get into the welding and then I don't think about anything else. Do you see anything wrong with this picture before I get too far? Oh, crap. Um, that ain't gonna make it up there. So I'm gonna cut them welds off. That sucks, cause, yep. Anyway, and then I'll slide that up, hold it up there and then uh, <laughs> redo it. Okay, like I told you before, and again and again, I'm not a professional, but uh, you know, I haven't had a lot of practice either. So, but anyway, the bungs are on there. 
they look really bad because I'll find like little pinholes that I missed and I go back and try and fill it in and then it looks like even worse. But the main thing is, is the bungs are in place. Uh, that's in the right spot now, so that's good. Um, we're good to go. So everything looks good. Uh, so I'm gonna figure out the clamp issue now because I can't get the exhaust up there in one piece and I'm not comfortable enough welding the top. Uh, so worst case scenario, I just uh, get a little sleeve and clamp it in both spots. Like I said, man, it's a work truck. I don't really care too much about the thing. Uh, obviously I want it running right and that's why I'm putting O2 sensors back in it. So that's where I'm at. Uh, we're good to go to put this in and figure out the clamp. Back from the parts store. So, two inch coupler. So, I'm going to deburr this, deburr the other side of the exhaust, slip this guy over here, and I am going to mock it up. Once it's mocked up, I will weld this part on, and then I will just put it in the car and clamp the other end in. So, I bought two clamps just in case, but uh, yeah. I'll weld the one end in and then put this up in and um, that'll be better than a clamp. So here we go. And there we have it. So the coupler is all welded on. Uh, before I did that, I mocked it up there. Everything looked good. So I'm gonna put the sensors in both ends now. I'm gonna bolt the flange up to the header and uh, or the manifold, and then we'll be all set. I guess it would be the collector, but whatever. Um, and then I will just slide the other end in, clamp it, and call it good, so. Okay, showing you guys step by step along the way. Uh, I got the rear sensor in here. It's all plugged in above the tranny and then the front sensors here all plugged in I've got everything tightened up to the manifold So we're all ready to put this piece in here and clamp it lower it down Make sure it works um, Yeah, I want to make sure it works. All right finished product the exhaust is back on um, I didn't tighten this down completely yet just because I want to make sure everything's gonna work so There's a sensor in the bung sensor in the bung. They're all plugged in so Now I will drop the truck down and uh, Start it up clear the codes and check the O2 sensors on the scanner and hopefully they're reading um, and this is this truck is bad. I'll show you That bushing or bump stop whatever it is is just like laying on the floor. It fell from somewhere And there is a ground strap here and That clips from here to here. So I just got to throw a, a Screw in there as well before I finish up just so you know, I don't know if it'll do any good But there's one on each side uh, Yeah yeah, we'll see. So, but yeah, look at the cross members for the box. I mean, they're gone. I mean, they're part gone. Part of it's right there. I mean, it's, yep, 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 yep. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, cleared all the codes and uh, it, it, before it came back instantly when I did it. Uh, so it has not come back. It's running a ton better and as you can see my O2 sensors are reading um, This This scanner doesn't really like this truck. Uh, it just keeps freezing on the uh, data stream, but uh, It kind of snaps out of it and then it starts reading again, but I mean it's I think the issue is fixed so I'm going to shut her off, get her back in the air, tighten down that clamp a little more. I fixed that ground strap. Uh, this baby should be good to go, and I'm going to take it for a test drive um, down a back road and see how it runs. Uh, should be a ton better. I mean, it's idling smooth. It's not chugging anymore. 
so we'll the real test will be under load so but everything looks good i mean uh short-term fuel trims look good uh obviously hasn't ran long enough for long term but so far they look good but uh yeah sweet all right everyone uh truck runs like a top now i don't know why they say that tops or whatever uh yeah it runs great now no more check engine light o2 sensors fix that issue um another thing that was wrong with it were the headlights weren't working parking lights were working which was really weird um but what happened there was it was actually the back of the light switch plug the connector there in the back of the light switch the hot uh 12 volts in wound up touching the headlight they melted together uh and then it broke uh you know ruined the switch for the headlight portion of it so all i did was wire in a switch real quick and then you still turn the switch on for fog lamps switch it once for fog lamps and then just i mean this is on all the time i mean on off uh, i just tapped in the 12 volts there and then headlight out so uh i'm not spending money on a new switch on this thing um I can tell you that right now uh, so I had a 12 volt switch in the drawer always good to have one of those uh, but it's all fixed hopefully you guys learned something from this video help support the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one later